Diagnostic Clinic, we generally have four sessions. The first session is a meeting just with the parents and me for me to get background and history, um, to answer questions, and to uh, figure out what it is that parents want from the evaluation and make sure that, that I'm able to provide that going forward. The second two sessions are my meetings with the child. The first one we do developmental testing to see at what levels the child is functioning developmentally in language, motor skills, social skills, personal skills. The second day is the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule, which is a standardized tool for diagnosing autism and to the child it just feels like play. To the examiner it's giving me a lot of chances to look for a lack of certain social and communicative skills. That's the difficult part of diagnosing autism at age two and three. What you're looking for is something that's not there. So in a four-year-old you might be looking for some repetitive behavior, some rigidity, some dysregulation. At age two you're looking to see do they communicate at all? And if so, how do they do it? And do they do, do they communicate with whatever tools they have? Do they put them together and use them successfully? Or do they use one tool or another? And then the last day of the testing is the feedback, where I sit down with the parents, provide the report, and give them the results, and 